Welcome to our training, Manage Your Experiments, Plan a Test of Your Listing Content. Brands enrolled in Amazon Brand Registry enjoy greater control over their product detail pages. But it can still be challenging to decide which listing content will drive the most sales. That's why we created the Manage Your Experiments tool, or MYE. MYE lets brands compare components of their current detail page content with an alternate version to see which performs better. You can test two main images, product titles, product descriptions, or sets of about this item bullets. Or you can test two versions of an a content product description. In this first video of the Manage Your Experiment series, we'll show you how to plan an MYE test. You can also learn how to set up a test in the MYE tool and how to interpret the results of an experiment by watching the second and third videos in this series. Before we review the steps for planning an MYE test, it's important to note that a product needs to belong to a brand enrolled in Brand Registry to be part of an experiment. The seller setting up the experiment in MYE also needs to be internal to the brand. If you'd like more information about brand registry and access to brand selling benefits like MYE, see the series of modules in our Seller University course, Launch Your Brand in the Amazon Store. You should start planning your MYE experiment by identifying the ASINs associated with the detail page content you want to test. We recommend going into the MYE tool to double check that those ASINs are eligible for testing. Hover over Brands in the main menu in Seller Central, click Build Your Brand, then click Manage Your Experiments in the list of supporting programs. On the next page, click the Get Started with Manage Your Experiments button to go to the tool. Then click the Create a New Experiment drop-down menu and select the type of listing content you're planning to test. If you select Bullet Points, Main Image, Product Description or Product Title, a pop-up containing reference ASINs will appear. If you select A Plus Content, you'll be taken to the A Plus Content Manager, where you can click the Select a Reference ASIN button to open a similar pop-up. Products are displayed as reference ASINs in either pop-up when they've had enough detail page traffic in recent weeks to support reliable MYE testing. The exact amount of traffic needed varies by product category. It may require several dozen orders per week or more. Each of the reference ASINs displayed for MYE will also have an eligibility status listed. If an ASIN is currently ineligible for MYE testing, you'll see a reason and may be able to make adjustments so the ASIN becomes eligible. As you review eligible reference ASINs, keep in mind that, for title and image experiments, you can test multiple products within a variation family. When you select an ASIN that's part of a variation family during setup, MYE will populate both the parent and child products. You'll be able to deselect individual child products, but the parent product must be part of your MYE test because it's the primary driver of detail page traffic. If you're planning to test a content with MYE, keep in mind that we'll cascade your experiment across all products that have your existing content published on their detail pages. After you select the a content you want to test during setup, you'll be able to see all associated ASINs, including variations. But you won't be able to deselect associated ASINs. That's to prevent mismatched a content from appearing to customers. While identifying ASINs for your experiment, it's also important to remember that you can only run one MYE test at a time on a product. If you're testing two different titles, you can't also test two images for the same ASIN. But you can run multiple MYE tests for different ASINs at the same time. And we recommend running multiple tests on the same ASIN one after the other to help refine results and increase the impact of testing. After identifying ASINs for your MYE test, the next step is defining a hypothesis. We recommend writing it down and collecting feedback, so you can be sure your hypothesis is specific and based on a well-defined assumption. For example, your hypothesis might be, adding descriptive detail to my product title will increase the number of customers who make a purchase. Or, Replacing a content product images with an infographic will increase the number of units sold. 
As the final piece of planning for your MYE experiment, you'll design your alternate content. Draft your title, about this item bullets, or product description. Create a new main image, or collect everything you'll need for your new a content. Doing this work now can help prevent errors during setup for your test, and it will allow you to build your experiment in MYE more quickly. While designing your alternate content, we recommend reviewing relevant requirements and guidelines on Seller Central help pages. You should also keep in mind that successful experiments usually test content very different from what's already published in the Amazon store. Test a 50-character product title against a 200-character title, for example. Or test static a content images of your products against images that show them in motion. This concludes our training on planning an MYE test. We encourage you to watch the next video in our series, which provides step-by-step -step instructions for setting up an MYE experiment. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.